so contenders draft picks we've heard there's a lot of points in this stuff so we're going to stay away from it and find some clearance packs on DraftKings prism here let's get a scan and see what it goes for offhand other than that the only thing i've seen was that tops holiday box up here and you get an autograph relic says uh in every box so we'll give it a shot maybe i'll see what they're there's a ski in place. All right, so let's take a look at the holiday box. Not too bad, 20 bucks. We'll probably get that and open it up later. But uh, I'll show you this. This is those 16 Prism draft picks. They're supposed to be on clearance, right? That is far from being clearance. So we're putting those back. I'm gonna get off here before somebody ends up catching me, but I gotta, uh, cause you're not supposed to be recording in here, but I gotta get some stuff for uh, lunches this week. See you later. Hey, what's going on everybody? Extreme Car Break. So as you've seen, I took a little clips while I was in Walmart. You gotta be careful cause they'll uh, kick you on out of there. But what we, let me try to get my gloves on here. What we see is from last time I went to Walmart, we had some hidden packs that were really well clearanced, you know, with discounts. And this time, same Ben pulled out those 16 uh, Prism Collegiate Football packs. And they're usually like about 10 bucks a pack. When you look at scanned, that's not clearance. Clearance is supposed to be like, to me, 50% or greater off. So it just shows while you're in there and you see something marked with clearance, find one of the little scan things in there scan it to make sure because otherwise you're gonna go to the checkout and be like at the end like why did i spend all this money look at your receipt you're like you gotta be kidding me well anyhow we did get the box of holiday it did ring up right 20 bucks it's last year's uh just something different you know just give it a shot and see what happens it has one autograph one relic or, or one relic in here one relic autograph or autograph relic one relic autograph. Okay, there we go. I gotta say it right. One relic autograph or autograph relic per box. You gotta look for the metallics in this, and it's been a while since I've actually seen the metallics, so you have to give me a few as we're playing around with this stuff. And you also gotta excuse me. I'm getting ready for a break tonight, which by the time I post this will already happen. So uh, getting stuff ready. So inside, see, oh, we got lots of packs. Holy cow! This is pretty cool. Already lots of packs to open here. I just got to kick my dog out of the way. She decided to come down. All right, come on. You'll move. She always has to come down here, man. I'm telling you. So we'll open up the packs. We'll put them all down. If I see something big and thick, we'll hold it to the end type deal. But it's kind of cool to see this stuff. Um, some people are fans of it. Some are not. And to give you an example, I picked one of these up. A guy came around to sell at the card show. So that's a Kuna. It's not the metallic or anything. I was trying to tell. It's something based off the snowflake. So we'll see if we can pop any out. Like I said, it's been a long time. I know there's like gold versions of this stuff and everything else. So I got something upside down there. We'll put that pack over here. Might have gotten off crap. But it was a little my Saturday little venture tomorrow. Not windward, but like I said, when I get wind of stuff, um, normally when somebody tells me this stuff, what they call old is usually sometimes like 90s products because, believe it or not, people think the 90s stuff's old. They don't know what they're looking for. So a friend of mine has a, a little stand in Elizabeth Town, Kentucky at the, uh, what do they call that? Ooh, is that the fifth card? Put you over here. All right. I guess I was off with what's in here. But anyhow, it's called a Peddler's Mall. He said when he was walking around, he noticed some sports cards in there. And he said he thought they were from the 90s. But we're going to take a look. I'll take the camera down with me. We'll look in there, see what's in there. Maybe we'll find gold. Maybe we won't. You just never really, really know. And as always, guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video. If you see something I missed, let me know. I'm not an expert on all these products by far. 
because there's so many different versions and stuff and I try to go back through at the end to look I know a lot of the stuff's numbered so let's take a look and see what we got here we go every which way here so as you can tell they're just pretty much like the tops car except they got some snowflakers on there so let's take a look here Swanson Rosario some stuff I put aside for boxes, so. Oh, there we go. Metallic, that's what they're talking about. So you can see it's like kind of has like little metal snowflakes. That's Carlos Correa. That's not bad. A lot of times I'm just getting this stuff Otani rookie. And I'm getting it because I'm mailing stuff in a PSA. I need to hit the 100 card mark. J.D. Davis. Flaherty. This metallic is going to be Chris Taylor. He has to fill up to get the $8 a pop. Porto. The names I go through here trying to see. I know there's a lot of great players on. But I don't like long videos. I'm trying to eliminate some of the ones where I can cut stuff out. Calhoun. There's the Kuna. This will be heading up to good old PSA. I think the PSA 10s are like 35 40 bucks. I could be wrong. Stuff fluctuates in this market so much. It's hard to tell. But like I said, I mean, you spend 20 bucks in a box, they got PSA 10, the Kuna or something. Yeah, you kind of get your money back, you know, type deal. And then anything else you sell, you know, it's worth it. It's a metallic here. Segoria. Cool to have a metallic Kuna. I'm trying to watch for the gold ones, too, in case we pull a gold. I heard there was a number. Mejia. Nick Williams. This one's going to be Charlie Blackman. And I'm going to try to get up here just so you guys can see. Something like this, you guys can see a little bit of a spark. There, that's the metallic on to it. I know a lot of you guys already know, but I enjoy sitting there trying to show people different things. There's an Albies rookie. Buster Posey is going to be our next one. Metallic. Buster, regular Buster Posey. What do you know? That just looks funny to Pollock. Guess we're out of the metallics now. Alright, so we should probably have a relic. I believe it's up in here. From what I've seen. Maybe it'll be a good one. It'll be horn buzzer worthy. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, my favorite person in the world, Craig, Craig Kimbrell for the Red Sox. Haunts me, Goldschmidt. So not too bad overall. Um, you don't really ever expect to get anything out of these unless you're breaking them by like case. To me, to pull the Kuna, I'm happy with that. For the fact that, you know, I'm going to spend 8 bucks a PSA on to it. So I'll have $28 invested in the box. Uh, from there, you know, Kuna comes back PSA 10. You know, pays for the box plus a little bit. So it's always good to save your rookie cards from stuff like this. Especially guys, you never know if they're going to do anything or not. And I mean, you, you could actually make a couple bucks off of it. Some people just throw them, throw them aside. If you sit there and look, you know, uh, some of the stuff people are doing, like just base Akunas. Think about it. If you would have saved all your base Akunas, some people do, 
you know, you would probably be pretty well off right now for all those times you bought in the Braves. So just a heads up, you never know when somebody's going to go and say in all those bases, they're going to be worth some money down the road. All right, so I got two Acunas. Well, I got one in the box, but I picked another one up. I just want to get in the case since I'm here. But, again, thanks, everybody, for always watching the videos. I appreciate it. Thank you for getting the breaks. Christmas is around the corner, so we'll figure something cool up there. I will see. be back with another video if, if it is worthy when I go down to the uh, Headler's Mall. Other than that, I hope you guys have a good weekend. I know we're uh, ending out September. My last case of Chrome is sold out. And we're, we're hoping for some big hits. All right. I will see you guys later. Thank you.